Hello guys, welcome back to my Jack 2 Renegade Let's Play. In this episode we are going to complete some more missions for crew. The next mission involves Gus going to a sewer blowing up sentry guns. Let's do this, let's enjoy this cutscene. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteys on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had you both kneecapped, eh? All I know is that the Baron cut a desperate deal with the metalhead leader. <sighs> Metalheads need eco, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the Metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. <laughs> yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the Metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. Okay, let's go to the sewers and shoot down those sentry guns as we promised him, as he told us what. Well, heads were trading with the Baron's forces. Okay, we're gonna head to the sewers now. This is the first time we've been there in this Let's Play. It's quite a fun place to explore. There's quite a lot of areas. There's quite a bit to it. And there's some... Some parts of the sewer we can't explore yet because... There's a later mission where Jack has to drain all the water in the sewer so he can explore more parts of it. So, of course... We can't explore every bit of it yet, but there are there is a bit of it at the moment we can explore, which we can use to blow up crew's sentry turrets, or not barren sentry turrets in this case. Okay, let's head around here. That do was didn't promise. The good thing about this mission is that we get another weapon upgrade afterwards. We get another new weapon. We get the blaster mod after after completing this mission. This is probably the most used weapon I use the most in this game. Oh, right. the sewer is just around the corner here. But before I go in there, I'm going to blow this sewer up, because why not? Ah, he got me! Bugger. Of course, I've got Dark Jack still with me. I'm not going to use that in this mission, of course, because there's one particular bit where I really want to show off the Dark Jack, Dark Bomb move. Okay, let's head in here, where we've got more of these. Got health, nice, let's, let's do this. Get rid of these guys. Don't need Dark Eco moment. Here we've got a first century turret. Let's blow the shit out of it. Shoot the gun, Jack! Oh, booyah! That's one to the town. Keep looking. Yeah, of course. And here we have a metal head in here. <laughs> this whoop is ha, gotcha. That scared the crap out of me actually when I first played this game and I saw that metal head would come out of nowhere. Here we need to send the lights on. It's funny exploring this sewer, but this sewer must smell worse than crew. Or maybe crew smell worse than the sewer. I don't know. Crew's a pretty grim looking guy and I'm pretty sure he smells just as bad as well. As this sewer. I can imagine he probably does. And, and we also found out in Jacket's combat race that crew even has a daughter as well, which is quite shocking because I didn't think he'd ever get a girlfriend the way he looks, but you never know, looks aren't always everything. Okay, let's get him. Oh, son of a bitch. 
We could just smash the turret like that. Rather than just use the shotgun. Let's head round here now. This is, this is where I want to show off the dark jack power up. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's turn the light on. And I'm going to show you the dark... Why the dark bomb is so epic to use. Let's do this. Wah! Booyah! Oh, so satisfying to use. Oh, I love using this power up. Especially when there's loads of enemies around because the dark bomb goes in slow motion. It just shows Jack taking out every single one. Oh, it's so satisfying to use. I just love how it goes in slow motion as well. That's the best bit about it. Not the fact that it takes out every single enemy inside, but it also goes in slow motion and it's so satisfying to watch Jack take them all out in slow motion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he we hasn't moved. Three turrets gone. Nice. Keep it up. Okay, just one more turret left to destroy, hopefully. What happened to the lights? Ah, son of a bitch. Gotcha. Okay, just grab these bowhead gems. Ah. Okay, let's get rid of this turret, the last turret in the sewer. This dirty old sewer. I really don't understand why the Baron would have sentry turrets in the sewers. Because who would even walk in the sewer anyway? This place must smell really badly. Okay, let's head down here. Nice. Okay, let's guess go to talk to crew and get that new weapon. And it's such a good weapon to use as well. <laughs> Let's go here, let's go grab a Zuma. Oh yes, a Crimson Guard one, nice. And of course I've got them on my tail once again. I just can't stop pissing them off. It's so fun to piss them off, it really is. I wonder if there'll ever be a day where they'll ever catch me. I've got to be really careful because they actually do stand a good chance of actually kidding me here because I haven't got much health. Let's just hopefully I can still make it to crew without dying. Oh shit. It's not easy when they start shooting at you as well, because they're pretty good at they're really good at shooting the crimson cars, they really can. There's a possible possibility they really will shoot. When they shoot, there's possibly they'll hit either you or the zoom. Of course, there's a bit of smoke coming from the zoom already. Probably from the crash. Ah. Okay, this crew's just around the corner. Come on, I can make it. Ah. I'm going to stay down here. There's Crew's place. I'm going to blow up the Zuma when I get there. Just slam it straight into the bar. <laughs> ah, what the hell? What? Oh, it didn't blow up. Okay, then. What is that horrible smell? <laughs> oh, great! We do your dirty work in the sewers and come back smelling worse than a wet hip hog in a warm barn. <laughs> this could have a serious impact on the lady factor. No. <laughs> I think it was my lunch, actually. Nice work in the sewers, eh? I guess you're looking for that weapon upgrade. Mm. Well, there's a blast of mod stashed in some crates at the port. Find it. And it's yours. <laughs> let's go get that weapon mod already. Oh, the Zuma disappeared. Where'd it go? Okay, let's go get a Zuma. Let's head to the weapon range and get our new weapon. This is such a good, fun weapon to use as well. It's probably the most weapon I use the most in the game. Just because it has great range. It hasn't got the best rate of fire in the game, but it definitely has great range and it's got a decent rate of fire, let's put it that way. Here's our new weapon. Here you can see there's a Vulcan barrel and some, a blaster, so we will get these weapons later on in the game. Okay, let's get the blaster mod. Nice. The blaster is a good all-around choice with a nice rate of fire. This weapon requires more aiming ability. You can switch weapon modes at any time. Combo your attacks by kicking, then firing your weapon. Kick the first.
first target, then shoot while kicking to automatically hit the second target. This is such a fun weapon to use. Now that's a wastelander move. They won't know what hit them. You can find yellow ammo in crates. Would you like to test your skills on the gun course? Yeah, I guess I'll have to, but you actually can leave without doing the blast at gun course, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Go! Boom. This space this space acts like an M14, just press the trigger and it just fires. He's like, this weapon is, we can be a bit overpowered because we have to do is double ju or jump and press the circle button when you spin in the air. When you and press the fire button, and Jack will just burst literally ammo all over the place. And this weapon will literally obliterate everything in its path. That's what makes this weapon for me so fun to use, just because of how it can literally obliterate everything. Of course, I've got very. You can upgrade this weapon, you can get double ammo count for this weapon, which really does come in handy, especially if you want to get the gold in this gun course. Ooh, yeah. Ah, come on. Okay, I'm not, I've got the target, all I need to do is just, I might try to go for the bronze actually, because if you go, if you get the bronze, silver or gold, you will get awarded precursor orbs. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap. Okay. I don't think I'll get 900, but we'll try anyway. So far, ah, so far, so good. Good thing about this weapon, it also has like a laser sight, a laser on it as well, so you, you know where the, oops, you're going to know where the, the ammunition is going to hit. You know exactly when it's going to hit the target. I like the scatter gun, which can take out more than one enemy in one go. But luckily, all the other weapons in the game have like a red dot sight, which makes it, which is really handy. Okay, I think I'm going to end the gun course off here. Let's reach through all my ammo. The good thing about collecting precursor orbs, they really do come in handy because when you collect them, you'll get secrets. And they really are fun to get as well. I made one more precursor orb away from get unlocking Mirror World. You can unlock cheats and secrets, and yeah, really, some of them are really awesome to get. And also, you can also, if you get 200, you can unlock Hero Mode. And oh boy. I've, not, I've only tried Hero Mode once, I've not actually beaten it yet, so I, I only unlocked it not too long ago. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, so I think I'm going to off here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, so that really helped me out. And of course, in the next episode, we're going to go help Crew. I think, yeah, I think we're going to do some more missions for Crew in the next episode, then I think in the episode after we'll go help Torn. Okay guys, I'll see, I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, this is Goldiex and I'm out.